Mayor, what do you think about this? I, uh, I'm all for it. If it's for a good cause and it, uh, it's a sacrifice we have to make for a good cause, let's get her done. What do you think about this water? What do you think it's going to be like? Uh, I know it's going to be cold. Um, luckily, I used to surf in the Kananaskis out in uh, Calgary year-round, and it's a glacier-fed river, so I don't have my wetsuit on uh, like I do when I'm surfing, but here we go. Uh, just recognizing Special Olympics. This is really what we're here about. We're going to have a lot of fun, but ultimately, what we're doing is we're raising a few dollars to allow athletes with their special abilities to get involved in an Olympics. June 6th and 7th here in Kingston. In Kingston this year, the first time I think in three, four years? Four years we're going to have an official games. And that's what we're here about. Big round of applause for some of the athletes here. This is one of the principal fundraisers for the Ontario Association of Chiefs of Police and multiple associations. And I know our Senior Officers Association in Coburg and our Police Association have been active sponsors. And this has been going across the province. I think we might be one of the last polar plunges in Ontario. So this is, uh, this is exciting. But none of this happens because of me. And everybody knows that we have great people here. And I'm going to turn it over to two people who have been leading the Special Olympics Torch Run cause. Uh, Tammy Staples from Port Hope Police Service and Jocelyn Hiltz from Covert Police Service. All of this happens because of the effort they do in addition to their work and their personal lives. So their commitment deserves to be recognized. Over to you. Thank you, Chief. Thank you for everybody for coming out today, rain or shine. I feel like we're already wet enough that we don't need to necessarily jump in the lake, but we're still going to go on and do that today. Um, last I checked, which was a couple minutes ago, I think our total online fundraiser has hit 23,500, which is amazing. I want to thank everybody who's been helping raise money for that. Um, we kind of work together with some of our other local services. We have, like the chief said, Coburg Fire, Port Hope Fire, uh, some council members, our municipal law enforcement services, and then... EMS, yes, as well, they joined in, came in hot with a competitive amount of donations, which is fantastic. Everybody's been doing some great friendly competing online to hit the lead. Um, we do also want to say just a special thank you to some of our larger sponsors that we had. We had Mr. Donald Edmond, uh, Walter Hildman of Trade Tech Industries, Keith Mello, Mike W, Hilt's Butcher Shop, Thomas Buick GMC, Dan Stone of AJ Stone and Mike Jackick. Those were some of our larger donations, which we greatly appreciate. Yeah, turn it over to Tammy so she can get some words in here. I think this is an amazing turnout. Uh, two communities coming together to do such an amazing uh, event for such a great cause. And we are here for one reason. We are here to support and we are here to freeze because it is freezing cold. My fingers are bright red. So let's get this started. Brayden and Phil, can we get you guys to come up here? Do you guys want to, can you guys come up? Yeah. Yeah. So big round of applause to these two. They're gonna be, they're gonna be coming in with Tammy and I first. And we just wanted to express a thank you to the, you guys. We, so we, why would you bring them? Good job, guys. Oh. 
Tell me about this day. What uh, you've seen a lot of these, I take it. Yeah, I think this is number 27 for us this year so far across the province. It's been an excellent polar plunge season. Community coming out and supporting like this is incredible, especially when they combine both communities here. What's it mean? Uh, I guess the obviously it's first Special Olympics. What's that mean to these uh, men and women, uh, the Olympians? Well, especially coming out of COVID, the extra funds really go a long way towards starting up the sports again. We have over 26,000 athletes in the province of Ontario. So all the money that's raised by places like this and events like this goes directly towards their funding, towards their sports, arenas, uniforms, all of the things it takes to put Special Olympics on. What do you, what do you think of this now that you're out? It was certainly cold. <laughs> it was freezing. It was so chilly. Glad to see we had such a great turnout for people participating and coming to support despite the weather. I was very pleased to see that. And our fundraisers are through the roof. Tell us about that. Tell us about that. So we did have just kind of some friendly competition going on with our other emergency services here in Coburg and Fort Hope, which has allowed us to raise, I think we were up to $23,500. And that does not include any of the cash, cash donations that we received today. Do you know, of the groups, do you know which one raised the most? <laughs> Last I checked, I think it was Coburg Police was in the lead, and I think we had up to about eight or nine thousand dollars for us. We had some great members that were reaching out to community sponsors, and we had quite a few of very willing donations, which is amazing. Tammy, what about you? Same, uh, same time next year. Same time next year, and you know what? Lots of laughs, lots of smiles, even though the rain was not the best. But you know what? It was still cold. I was surprised at the number of people that came out for this like to watch it but you know what that's the whole part about this whole thing support from our community yeah support from our family friends everybody it was amazing such a great day you took a big uh, swallow of water <laughs> no no <laughs> you know what if one of us was dunking the two of us that's what a partnership is for yeah.